Hey everybody, welcome back to SourceFed. My name is Mike Falzone. I'd like to introduce you for the first time to my good pal, Steven Suptic. Welcome to me. Hi, I'm Steven Suptic, like he said. <laughs> Woo! Steven, I'd like to introduce you to another friend of mine, a new best friend of mine called Abby Price's mom. Oh, this is great. Moms love me. Hi, Abby Price's mom. Are you what are you doing to your face? Who is Abby Price's mom? Let's start with who Abby Price is. Well, she's just a teenager from Coventry, England, like the rest of us. Mike, you're like 47 and from Connecticut. Okay, well, we're not really friends, so. So Abby's mom found this photo of her passed out after a night of binge drinkies with her head stuck underneath a toilet seat. 97% of my generation has at least several photos like that. Let's pause for a quick photo analysis. First of all, you'll notice that the toilet seat definitely probably fell onto her head. It wasn't gently placed there. It fell, it wasn't expected, and it probably hurt a lot. Second, Abby is what I would like to call too close to several litter boxes. Finally, there's also a tiny doggy bed right there, so you know for a fact that there was a dog glaring at Abby all night from the doorway of the bathroom. Oi, Abigail, you're a rot mess, you all. Please keep your puke at me, bed. <laughs> Please keep your puke at me, bed. Please keep your puke. Oh, <laughs> me, you rot mess. I'll done, done, tell it, done, tell it up. The score for me had to keep your puke out. Remember when I asked you if you could do a British accent? You were like, I don't know. That was and exactly what I was looking for. <laughs> so for Abby's 18th birthday, in an effort to deter her daughter from repeating past mistakes, her mom had this photo made into an amazing cake topper. Let's cut to it. That's outstanding. It looks like a drunk claymation character, like if Hermie from Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer went to Burning Man. If my mom made a cake for me, it would look like Yukon Cornelius peeing on a bedpost. Abby was a great sport about the cake, which was several layers in height and featured black frosting, purple flowers, and glitter. And then she obviously tweeted a photo of the cake because it's 2000. 16, and that's what you do. And then that tweet got like 17,000 retweets. Uh, 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 wait. Is there a problem with your finger? Can you actually eat glitter? That's what you pulled out of that whole thing? Can you actually eat it? I don't know, but I know you well enough to say out loud, don't try. Don't try to do that, Steven. This is the first time I could ever see myself eating a cake someone else has thrown up on. In the comments below, tell us what was the most embarrassing thing that you've ever done and how would it look on a cake in cake form? Most embarrassing thing I've ever done is uh, in freshman year in high school when I peed my pants because I didn't want to raise my hand to ask the teacher if I can go because he was in the middle of a discussion. Yeah. And uh, instead- Heated discussion? Yeah, I took the girl's water bottle next to me, I asked her if I could have it, and I was like, oh no! <laughs> and I poured it on my crotch, <laughs> and she was like, that's okay, it happens to the best of us. I will say this, everything you just said was gross. We should make a bakery together. We should open a bakery called Mistake Cakes. But before we go do any of those things, I'm gonna go watch a bunch of episodes of What Could Possibly Go Wrong over there on Science Go, which is an app that you could download for free in the app stores. You could do the same thing I'm doing if you're interested in that kind of thing. Speaking of cake stores, I had an idea for a cake store that didn't go through. It was called Cake, Cake, Cake. And when people heard that, they assumed that I was racist. Cake, 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 cake. Yes. Cake, Would you? Cake. What's the head um, baker referred to as in that? Neil. Good, because you could have gone at a bunch of different places. I'm comfortable racist with Neil. Neil. Shit. I was hoping it wasn't racist Neil. Hey guys, welcome back to SourceFit. My name is Sam. Today we're gonna to be playing with a speech jammer now, if you guys don't know what a speech jammer is. What's something really gross about you two that you kind of don't really talk about, but you think people should know? 